So this is an old 1946 International KB1 pickup truck that me and dad rescued out of the woods. Uh, now the family wasn't quite ready to sell the truck off, uh, but they allowed us to go ahead and cut it out, bring it back to the shop where we were able to get it up and running. Now we're just going to kind of go around the truck, clean it up the best we can before we drop it back off to the farm and let them pick up where we left off. So this is a pretty cool old truck, and apparently at some point in its life, it was an old uh, service truck. So you can still see the door logos here. Uh, some sort of machine shop in Hope, Arkansas. So as we're gonna clean this up, we wanna try to preserve that the best we can. It's awfully flaky there, so we're gonna have to be really careful in that spot. Uh, on the inside of the truck, you may have seen on the last video, Pretty dirty inside here, a bunch of stick and debris and mouse poop from, from rats. Got a bunch of cobwebs up top here we'll have to clean up, but uh, we'll probably just try to scoop all this out the best we can uh, and then maybe go ahead and pressure wash it. On the bed back here, we've literally got a vegetation growing in the dirt and stuff that's been uh, just set up in time. So we'll just have to shovel all that out best we can, put it in trash cans, and then go ahead and take a pressure washer to it. Not really sure how well this truck's going to actually clean up on the outside. It's got a really cool patina to it, uh, and that's what we kind of want to preserve with it. Not exactly sure what the owner, if they're going to want to keep the patina to it, or if they're wanting to go back and paint this truck. But for right now, we're just going to kind of see what it is uh, up underneath this dust and rust and uh, see how she turns out from there. All right. Not that messy back here, but. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see a whole be... lot of anything worth keeping. Maybe a couple things, but. Oh, no, those cans look pretty valuable. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what was in these cans. He's got a lot of them back here. Kind of an odd shape. Yeah, they're in there. Kind of remind me of like a little soup. Soup cans, but I doubt that that's what that is. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Some kind of a strap or something, ain't it? I think once we get all the little, I mean, the, the bigger stuff out, then we can just kind of scoop it into the wheelbarrow from there on, so. Yeah, and I think most of it is, most of it's just, just dirt. Good dirt. Yeah, really good dirt. <laughs> Oh, it may not be as deep as in no. dirt as I thought it was. Yeah, it really is. A... These old cans and stuff are below. Man, this, whatever this strap or tape is, it is everywhere. So the start, you just want to take it. Yeah, well, I'll, I've got that shovels right there and we'll just scoop it up, put it in the wheelbarrow and All right. I'm not carry it somewhere else. Getting a ton of that out then. Don't throw it at my head. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's getting just about all the the bigger <laughs> stuff. Yeah, I think we can use that <laughs> shovel in that now. They have a metal metal bed there. Don't sound yeah. like wood. Well, with all that dirt on it, you would think they'd just be holding in that moisture and not be rusted, but hopefully not. Hopefully it's in pretty good shape. It'd be better than if, if it was wood, I'm sure it'd be. Oh yeah, for sure. Wood it'd would be gone. Be, yeah. What 
What in the world is that? Oh, it's one piece. I don't know if it's... I don't know. You can have that, though. Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm um, coming across a little bit of rust right in here, all along the little yeah. where it's welded together right there. Oh, it's actually all all the way down, I think. <laughs> I think it's safe for me to. Stand back here? Does it hold me or no? If it don't hold you, then you'll just go through. Oh, goodness. I'll tell you. I'll yeah, tell you after you get afterwards. out. I'll get the majority of it. The rest of it should rinse out. I mean, oh well, you got some, you got some pretty bad rust over in here. Yeah. No, <laughs> but I mean, other than that, other than like the edges, it's not. Well, as long it's as it's not been, as bad as some cars we come across. As long as it's been sitting, as oh yeah. And leave, there's anything left there. Oh yeah. That's why I said shocking because it's so much water and stuff just being held in here. And I was expecting to be way worse. Call that good. I think so. Well, that right there is the work of a true hard working pack rat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a shame what he's got it packed full of most is. Well, it had to have been something pretty big because there's some pretty big sticks over here. Well, that ain't sticks over here, so. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that is, but I'm not going to worry with it. I got a couple pieces of trim I'm going to lay up here on the fender for right now. For the grill. Yeah, we may end up having to pull this seat out of here. Oh, there's the panels to the, I guess the battery oh, yeah. tray there. Yeah. Miami. Figure just get what we can and then get a vacuum or pressure washer. May have to get a vacuum after that big old pile of turds there. Yeah. Will this seat don't no, fold down, does it? Just probably pull forward, but it's probably so rusted it don't even do that. I don't feel anything. But, well, there's a lever, but it doesn't feel very good. Get it out on the ground and then oh, work from it from there. Huh. Good bunch of sticks in the back back there. I think they have this old tar paper. I don't know what the floor is going to look like. Well, it ain't terrible. Oh, it's a big old mud flap. I'm like an 18 wheeler. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I'm pulling out mouse house or seat stuffing. <laughs> yeah. I think it might be one in the same. One in the same. Well, the doors ought to shut a lot better once we... Yeah. I'm gonna grab the vacuum, see if I can't get these loose turds up top here okay. sucked up. Well, they're not fresh because they're tasted them. <laughs> they're just dry. That is a lot of poop. Yeah. Well, there's some rust. 
Yeah. But there's some floor too. Yeah. Hey, it's repairable. We'll have to pull that seat out to get all that yeah, there's, behind there. There's or, a bunch of or try more. to see if we can get to slide forward, if it even will. So now that we pretty much got the uh, bed of the truck cleaned out, the inside of the cab the best we can, uh, we'll end up pressure washing those down just to get some of that dirt and loose paint debris, cobwebs out of the way. We had pretty much cleaned up the engine compartment pretty well when we were getting it running. Uh, so just a pressure washer will do the trick on that. Now we're gonna try the exterior of this truck with the pressure washer. Gonna try to wash off some of this old moss and stuff like that. Going to be real careful in this area of the logos because we want to preserve that the best we can. As you can tell on this side it's already about to come off completely anyway. So just going to crank up the pressure washer, uh, hit it with a little water, a little elbow grease, see what she looks like after that. this truck pressure washed and as you can tell some color is starting to come out just a little bit so what we're going to do is we're going to take some CLR scrub it into it just a little bit and see if we can get this color to enhance just going to wet it a little bit and then All right. there's some scotch brights there we'll just take and just start scrubbing on it okay. not too hard but enough to go lightly and just see how it does All right. and then you'll have to rinse it off as you go okay Looks like it was green now. Good luck on your side. Yeah, I think I'm starting to see it come off just a little bit. May take a few scrubs. Yeah, definitely. 
be careful around any chrome, not just put, use it on the chrome. All right. Hit my side, see what it does. Oh, yeah, it's taking it all. This is gonna take a lot of rubbing. Oh, yeah, huh. let me hit yours. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it's pretty green. Yeah, like an old hunter green. Yeah, who would have thought? 40 years of <laughs> I know, I thought it was just, I didn't think there was any yeah. paint, paint left on it that would even show up. <laughs> I just thought it was all surface for us. I don't know that this top is gonna. Yeah, it looks a little iffy. <laughs> yeah. I think it, it's, I mean, it's coming off dirty yeah. like it is. Slowly taking it. Wow. Wow. Yeah, you can see it's just slowly running off. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> pretty cool, huh? That's pretty neat. You never would have thought. And try out these fenders. Yeah. See if they start. You can kind of see compared to the door, a huge, huge, huge difference. Oh yeah. Yeah, we'll have to be careful on that door. I may just use some degreaser and a sponge pad or something on yeah. that. Yeah. So don't mess up the logos none. Yeah. Try out these fenders. I feel like I'm seeing a little bit of color on my side, but it's gonna take a lot, a lot, a lot of scrubbing. Well, yeah. whew, this is coming off easy. Is it? Um, yeah, down lower. I mean, yeah, yeah. that's that's coming <laughs> off real easy. How neat. Yeah, I would have definitely guessed it was at least a red or maybe even orange. Never would have thought green. Well, you can tell by the grill there, it's been, Painted a little bit of right. everything. Yeah. Yeah, there's some spots you probably won't be able to get up. No, nah, some completely. of it's just gonna stay surface for us. Yep. Keep scrubbing, we'll get there. So we've been scrubbing quite a bit on this old truck and I'm actually surprised how much of the original color is still on there and showing up. Now on these doors, uh, this side was the worst side of having the logos on there, so I need to be most careful on this side. I'm just gonna use just some uh, super clean degreaser and hopefully a sponge and just try to be as careful as we can to save these old logos on here. Uh, just cause it tells a little bit of a story about the truck, a little bit of history of the truck and I hate to lose that, but we won't know until we start scrubbing at it. So I'm just gonna hit that with a little bit of degreaser Greaser, scrub around on it and then we'll just keep going around the truck scrubbing around until we get the look we like and um, we'll come back after that with some boiled linseed oil that'll really make these colors pop.
So there's not going to be a whole lot left here that we're going to be able to save, but you can at least see where it says truck repair and then the town that it was located in. So we took a lot of before pictures of the other side. If a person wanted to recreate these, we could definitely have that repainted on there. But once again, not exactly sure what the owner wants to do. So pretty happy that that much stayed on there. We'll just keep going around the truck and uh, see how she looks like totally done. So we got this truck pretty much scrubbed down everywhere. Uh, the cab cleaned up really well in comparison of the old bed there. Uh, it just amazes me how much of this original green color showed up up underneath that surface rust. So the CLR worked pretty good on cleaning that off. Now where this heavy rust is, like up on the flat panels, like the top of the roof, top of the hood, uh, that didn't clean up as well. But uh, it's got a really cool look to it. I love these old door logos here. Uh, you can actually see this one really good now. So that's outlined and just, just Mother Nature's paint job here, just outlining that natural patina. On the inside, uh, pressure washed it out the best we can. A lot of paint kind of flaked off the dash and the, the door jam areas had to wipe that seat down just a little bit. Uh, like I said, on the bed, uh, obviously this truck had been painted, painted at some point in time with like an orange or a red, whitish color, maybe a couple different paint jobs. So the bed just looks a little different than the cab. Uh, the floor back here, uh, about as, as good as it can be. It's got some rust over here on the front front edge of it there and also took a pretty good uh, something with a lot of weight was probably put in here and been, been in the top of that bed and the cab as well so uh, wheels cleaned up pretty nice tires look brand new even though they're who knows how old so I guess the next thing we're going to do is just try to wipe this truck down with a bold linseed oil it's really going to bring out a lot of these colors on the truck so it'll make that green a lot more vibrant as well as the rest of these colors so we'll get some of that mixed up just start applying it around the truck and see how she turns out after that. So just a little bit of this stuff really goes a long ways. You want to wipe it as thin as possible and in direct sunlight as well. It'll help it to dry. But you can see already how much more that green shows up just by wiping that on there. And literally anybody can do this. It's just as easy as wetting your rag and rubbing down the panel. Try to do half this hood here to kind of show a little before and after. Try to stay away from your chromes and stuff. Don't wipe it on that. Just keep it on the, on the sheet metal. That's looking good. So you guys can tell quite a bit of difference here in comparison from where I've wiped this linseed oil to how it was. So it just enriches these colors a whole lot. Uh, it'll last about a couple of months depending on where you're storing the vehicle. So after a couple of months you may have to reapply, but it'll actually preserve this, this sheet metal better than just leaving it exposed like that. It kind of protects it from the elements some. We'll just keep going around the whole truck. It's really going to make these colors come alive and give it the look that we're looking for.